you think it, he paints it. That's essentially the premise of a local street artist's work, to paint what everyone's thinking but isn't saying. Arts correspondent Angel Ido introduces us to Leon Thotsky. Have you ever seen a, a produce sign in a grocery store or a produce market? But mixed in with sardonic quips or uh, reflections? By sardonic quips, he means buzzwords that have the potential to get a rise out of people. But that isn't the intent of street artist Leon Thotsky's work. I reflect on behavior that I see and then I abstract the circumstance out of it and then it gets almost to like a logic that when you express it becomes very clear and when people see it it gives them pause and, and they would then reflect on their own logic and their own actions and behavior. In other words, he's saying what everyone's thinking but isn't saying. It, it has a sentiment of uh, irony that um, might be lost on some people. I think that the style though is so absurd that people generally know right away that something's not right in the, you know, in the situation or the, the piece. So it, it'll at least give cause for reflection. The purpose of a dialogue is to change the other person's mind. If I can't find an enemy, I just expand the criteria. Opium is the religion of the masses. These are some of the phrases that came to Thotsky's mind during the lockdown. And when it came time to go outside again, he hit the streets with the sardonic quips in tow. I do want people to be a little unnerved. I think it's like, just from my perspective, people's behavior and actions uh, as of late have been sort of chaotic and sort of challenging to watch. While the artist behind Leon Thotsky intends to remain a mystery, it doesn't mean he's absolved from his alter artist ego's encouragement for self-reflection. He is sort of a persona that uh, I guess is like loud and bold and that's you know not necessarily who I am. I think I'm a little more uh, quiet and introspective. So it's nice to be able to, I guess, hide behind that alter identity and um, just let, let Leon Thotsky go. It was for me to work on my own self and my own behavior. I do try to take these to heart. I don't think anyone can like get out of these ideas or concepts, it's, but it's good to be aware of them and uh, sort of to check yourself and check how you affect others and how others are affecting other people and, and just to be more aware. This end goal has proven to be true. People have reached out to me and, and said, this is something I didn't even know about myself, but when I saw it, I, it correlated with something that I do, and so now I'm like thinking, rethinking about how I think and see the world. While the purpose of Thotsky's work is to encourage self-reflection and growth, it's also meant to serve as a reminder. It's better for people's ideas and opinions to be out in the light. Even if they're bad, we, we have to take them up and talk about them. People's minds aren't gonna be changed in silence. We need dialogue. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. Leon Thotsky says he has no plans to ever reveal his identity or really take his work beyond the street. Visit our website for more information about where you can see Leon's thoughts in person. They won't be featured in an exhibit anytime soon.